Hey, what's going on guys? It's the Lego Mandalorian here, and it has been a while since I've made my latest video, but today I have another massive Lego haul from this month. Now, I just got back from the Lego store this morning, um, and I bought a ton of Lego sets. Now, as you know, September release, there was a lot of stuff um, that came out. There was the Razor Crest. There was, uh, okay, actually, yeah, that's... Okay, I got the Razor Crest. I'll just say that up front. I mean, of course, uh, of course, I was gonna get the Razor Crest, um, but I also got a whole lot of other sets that have come out, like in previous months that I haven't gotten yet. Um, now, some of these I got before I went to the Lego store, like a few weeks ago. So I will be showing off like the boxes just to show that I bought them. But the uh, sets themselves, you know, they're already built. Uh, but since it's like I bought them like over the past month, I will show them off anyway. So this is actually going to be a bit of a longer video than um than I usually do. So just bear that in mind. So here we go. So before I uh, actually show you these, this is just the this is where they, they all came in. So pretty big bag. Um, as I will say myself. But let's start off with the one that I already well mentioned. It is the Razor Crest. I mean, this one was kind of a no-brainer to get. Um. You know, I I loved season one of The Mandalorian. Um, and yeah, Razor Crest is a really cool ship. Um, yeah, we got the Mandalorian himself. We got uh, Grief Karga. Of course, you can't uh, talk about the Mandalorian without talking about Baby Yoda. Um, so we got Baby Yoda in there. We got IG Eleven and a new Scout Trooper. I have I got the two Scout Troopers that came out in the 2013 Ewok Village. So this will be a first for me. And yeah, seven years now, huh? Yeah, I bought that set seven years ago. Um, yeah. So that is the first set. Now I got an even bigger set after that. I got the ATAT -AT Walker, the new one. So now, if you've been around my channel for a while, you'll know over the last year I've been working on my Hoth Moth. Now I haven't really done any videos on it in a while. Um. Uh, I don't know what happened, but I got a an ATAT -AT walker, so this will be, I will add this to the mock. So now we will have not one, but two, two ATAT -AT walkers on, uh, in the battlefield. Um, I am really excited to build this. Um, it even has an interior, which I'm really excited about. The 2014 one does not have an interior. Um, and plus, um, I honestly want to try to modify this to, to, so it looks like the swampy one from, uh, from Jedi Fallen Order because, yeah, that game is amazing. Okay, so those are my two biggest sets that I got. Now, I got another one right here. This one came out a while ago, the Harry Potter Hedwig statue thing. Um, well, basically, I got this, uh, um, you know, it's more of a desk ornament, uh, you know, you got an exclusive Harry, you got the, uh, hands, they kind of look more like surgical gloves, um, but anyway, we got Hedwig here, uh, I'm gonna put this over by my desk, um, it's more of a display, display thing, um, so, what else do we have in here? Uh, ah, uh, yes, we got the Room of Requirement. This set um, is very simple, but I think all the minifigures, maybe not Hermione, but I'm pretty sure all of them are exclusive. Um, we got the, uh, oh yeah, it's like the dummy to practice on. We even have Hermione and Luna's Patronuses in this set. Um, yeah, I don't think, uh, I don't remember what any of the other characters' Patronuses, what animal they are, but I am ready, you know, I'm glad I can add this to my Hogwarts setup. If, it is getting very, very crowded. Um, I can actually show you right now. I have, I have a ton, a ton of minifigures right here. I'm currently also collecting um, all the ones from Series Two. I actually went to Target last week to try to get them. Um, uh, I got, I got, I think I've only got six more to go. I spent uh, like what? 40, 50 bucks, and I still got a whole lot of repeats, um, so, yeah, so hopefully, I think tomorrow, I might go back and try to get the rest of them, so, what else do we have in here, oh, yes, of course, I cannot, yes, this is the one, this will, 
501st Battle Pack, okay? I got the 501st Battle Pack. Also, actually, I got three 501st Battle Packs. I'm not going to show the other ones. Uh, you know what? Why not? I'm going to show them. Okay, yeah. Just to prove it, just to prove I got more than one 501st Battle Pack, here is a second one. Um, and wait, let's see. Let me grab the third one. So, um, the way that I got three of these now... Lego, they specifically only have limit one per customer, especially when it comes to battle packs. So, the reason how, the way I got three of them is because, well, I just took a couple friends with me. Um, I just gave them, you know, 30 bucks in cash. It's like, hey, go, uh, you know, go buy one of this. It'll, you know, technically be under your name. Um, I mean, not technically a name name, but, you know, that's basically, uh, yeah, I used my friends to, uh, as a loophole to get more than one 501st battle pack. I want to get maybe six by the end of the year. Um, I think I've got a few more things in here. I think it's just, yeah, so I got some poly bags, actually. So I got two poly bags. One, it's actually this Harry Potter one. It's, uh, it's one of the tables from the Great Hall. It's got that new Hedwig piece. Really excited to open that. I also got this Speed Champions Lamborghini. Uh, pretty cool. Probably not gonna open it. I'm probably just gonna throw it in storage. Um, so yeah. Uh, let's see. Am I missing anything else? No, I am not. Okay. I'm not going to cut it here just yet. I'm actually going to go over here. I have two more boxes of sets that I got. Uh, they just happen to be here. I haven't thrown them away yet, or I don't know if I'm gonna throw them away at all. But uh, I managed to find General Grievous' Starfighter. Now, I know technically the pricing wasn't the best. I would have bumped it down to like 60 bucks. Not, I wouldn't pay 80 And also, yeah, I think you've probably heard a lot of other bigger LEGO YouTubers talk about, yeah, they sh probably shouldn't have done They should have just done a Phase 2 Commander Cody. People would have been all over that set. If they made it 60 bucks in a Phase 2 Cody... Yeah, people would have gone crazy. Um, I mean, it's still a pretty cool trooper, but it, it's not easy. Like, it's only one, and you can't really get a... It's, it's not a set that you'd buy multiple times to build an army with. So you can have an army of these guys. You probably have to go to, like, Bricklink or eBay um, if you want to get more of these. Um, and also, last but not least, now I have not... Um, well, so I've sort of been trying to go and get back into Ninjago. Um, I watched the show, you know, when I was a kid. I uh, haven't watched it in years. Um, but uh, if you know, recently they've been doing the Ninjago Legacy. Um, no, actually, I did technically buy a few sets, just more Legacy sets. Um, but I saw when they announced this set, uh, I was like, yeah, I'm definitely going to get it. So... It was a few weeks ago, I bought the Destiny's Bounty, okay? Now, I do, uh, season one of Ninjago, that one I have, you know, a lot of nostalgia for. And Destiny's Bounty was probably one of the coolest vehicles in the show. So, I, yeah, I had to get it. Um, I, like I said, I haven't bought a Ninjago set in year, well, I mean, okay. I haven't bought a large Ninjago set in, well, this is the largest Ninjago set I ever, I own. So yeah, I yeah I'm I'm trying to get back into Ninjago. I mean I'm still collecting Star Wars, Harry Potter, and Minecraft. So it's a bit hard to collect four themes at once. I mean yeah, like you know I got my Hoth Mog over there, got my Harry Potter set up right there, got my Minecraft set up right here. So it's like yeah, where do you put Ninjago? Um. Ta -a. But yeah, this um it's technically not displayed here in my. Lego room is displayed in my bedroom, um, but yeah, this is, uh, I have not done a video like this in a long time, um, yeah, I'm just really happy that I got all these sets, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be pretty busy over the next couple days, um, but yeah, what do you guys think of my Lego haul in the comment section below, let me know what you think of all the choices that I got, uh, were you surprised that I was able to get that many 501st Battle Packs? I mean, personally, I was actually pretty surprised that they had 
500 first battle packs in stock. I mean, I think they came out in August. But anyway, if you like this video, you can give it a like. If you want to see more of this kind of content, you can subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.